Hello everyone, welcome back to the course on architectural design of ICs. So in the last class we have seen uh, uh, that means how efficiently we can implement the algorithm into the architecture. So as an example of that we have seen uh, the design technique for one um, that means n bit generic uh, incremented design. Okay. So initially we have started with what? Initially we have started with 4 bit incremented design. Okay. So whenever uh, we have we have initially we have followed the general method for designing any circuit that means we have uh, drawn the operation table then from the operation table using um, this uh, Carnot map we have tried to find out each of the expression for the output bits. Okay. And then uh, we have we have we have realized that for 4 bit it is uh, still manageable. Okay. So beyond 4 bit that means if I consider uh, 6 bit or 8 bit or more than that incremental design. So at that time by following that method that becomes too much of complex. Okay. So for that reason what we, we, de we, what we did is that we have tried to find out different method. Okay. So as uh, we know that this is nothing but that means one uh, incremental means that is the addition of two numbers where one number is fixed to 0, 0, 1. So from that uh, we have seen that means that is for uh, added with 1. So again we can do that means if it is if I want to add it by 2, uh, if I want to add it by 4 or if I add want to uh, increment that, that means circuit by uh, 8 also. So at that time what will happen? So if I just take the example then, so at that time what will happen? So in the incremental design, so for n bit, for n bit incremental design, what was the expression? The expression was something like this, is n minus 1 if I just that was a n minus 1 x or width a n minus 2 a n minus 3 up to a 0. Okay. So, this was the that means expression for n bit incremental design. Okay. So, now this, was, this is only for if I want to add it by 1. So, uh, we have seen that the for 4 bit the S0 bit was nothing but A0 bar and S1 was A1 XOR with A0 and S2 was A2 XOR with A1 and A0. Okay. And S3 was S3 was something like A3 X or width A2 A1 and A0. So uh, this is for if I want to add it by one. So if I just want to add it by two, that means 0, 0, 1, 0, At that time, what will happen? That means at that time only this particular uh, for 0, 0, 0, 1. Whenever this position is basically one. So, that means that is affecting the bits which are on the left hand side that means from towards the MSB side. Okay. So, as I am adding at the LSB position I am adding 0 here that means that bit will be remain unchanged and from where we are adding 1 from there it will try to follow this particular equation. Same things will happen for if I want to add it by 4. So, at that time that means this 2 bit position is 0, 0. So, this will remain unchanged and the, that means this corresponding this particular equation will start from this particular bit position. Okay. The same thing will happen for A2. That means at that time this 3 bit position will be uh, remain unchanged and the changes will be occurred from this particular bit, bit position. So, that means now I can, I can develop or I can design any n bit incremental design which can increment by 1, by 2, by 4 or by 8. Okay. So, next uh, we will see 
next we will see another example ok so that is uh, this next we will see another example that is 4 bit uh, that means decremental design ok 4 bit in uh, incrementer what we are doing in incrementer we are just adding it by 1 in decrementer what we will do we will just decrement it by 1 ok so here we will again uh, we will follow the same procedure like here we will try to find out the expression for 4 bit first then we will try to find out can i can i apply those expression in in terms of rep, that means n bit representation ok so that we will try to follow so in in uh, decremental design ok if i just um, if I just draw the corresponding uh, so if I just want to draw it so in according to the 4 bit decremental design what will happen so here at this particular side this will be the input variables sorry this is S3, S2, S1 and S0. So, for uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, all will be 1, ok. For 0, 0, 0, 1, all will be 0. Then 0, 0, 1, 0, it will be 0, 0, 0, 1. So, in this fashion, this will be continued, ok. So, this will be continued. So, up to 1, 1, 1, 1. So, whenever I will find out 111 at that time, I will get it like 1110, ok. So, then again using the same procedure, using this drawing the Carnot map, using drawing the Carnot map and then try, I will try to find out the corresponding expression for that. So, instead of doing that, as I said that is what is where the problem lies with this, this technique. So, what we can do, ok, what from this whenever we are doing decremental design that means whenever we are uh, designing it or calling it as a decremental at that time what we can write if you just see that means from the that um, previous things if you see that is 0 0 0 then at that time it is 15 0 0 0 1 at that time it is 0 for 2 this is 1 so how we can just do it if i just in incremental design what we have done 1 bit I fix to 0, 0, 0, 1. So, in decremental the same thing if I just add it by 15 as I am considering 4 bit here. So, if I just add it by instead of 1 if I just add it by 15 at the time it will work same as the corresponding decremental design. How? So, initially if you consider 0 plus 15 that means it will give you 15. So, then 1 plus 15 it will give you 16. So, 16 means if I am considering the output of 4, 16 means what? In binary representation it is 1000. So, if I consider only this, this particular 4 bit, I discard this particular MSB. So, at that time this will become 0. So, then 2 plus 15 means equals to 17. So, that means this is 1 0 0 0 1. So, this will be this is discarded. So, this will be 1. Then in this fashion for 3 plus 15 18 18 means 1 0 0 1 0. So, here this is so this will be 2. So, that means if I just with this this is my input A ok and this is fixed this is my input B if b is fixed to uh, that means 15 then the corresponding addition uh, that means the full adder circuit if i just put it like this this is my a and this is b if i b instead of in 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 incremental design what we have done i have set this b values to 1 and we have we have got the corresponding expression for incremental but here what we, we have to do, we have to add it by 15. So, then this circuit, the same circuit will be 
uh, that means act as a decrement addition. So, whenever we are putting this 15, so at that time will there be the change in the logical expression that we will see now. Okay. So, how we will see? So, uh, for that what we have done in the incremented design, so do the same thing we have to do in this case also. So, that means here if I consider that means each of these as that means 4 bit means 4 full adder cell I require. Okay. So, this is a 3, this is a 2, this is a 1, this is a 0 and this is the carry which has been forwarded to the MSB side and this carry is basically cancelled that means I am discarded this carry out. So, this is the carry in so C in equals to 0. So, and all these B bits they are set to 1. Okay. So, now for S 0 what will be the expression? that is what we know that that is for any sum the expression for that that is a x or b x or c and for carry that is a b plus b c plus c a. Okay. So, here for s 0 what will be the value a 0 x or with 1 x or with 0. So, this means whenever in XOR gate if any of the input is 1, so at that time if I consider 2 input XOR gate, if a one of the input is 1, so at that time it will produce you the inverted of that. Why is so? Because if you just see the XOR that means um, the expression that is what A B bar plus A bar B correct. So, if I fixed this b as 1, okay. so at that time what will happen? This as this is 0 and here b is 1, so it will be a bar. So, that means if I fixed any values, any of the input to 1, so at that time you will get the inverted of that in the XOR gate output. Okay. So, that means now it will be what? A 0 bar. And we have to find out the C0 and C0 is what? C0 is C, C1 and this is C2. Why I need to calculate this C0, C1 and C2? Because this carry, if this bit is 1, okay. so at that time the carry which is being generated in this particular uh, full adder, this, this particular full adder that will affect the corresponding next of it, the adjacent full adder cell it will the carry will affect. So, that we are just basically traversing to the that carry is propagated towards the MSB side. Okay. So, now for carry we have also calculate for this particular this particular uh, full adder cell. So, carry will be what a 0 that means a plus b mean a b means here b is 1. So, a 0 plus for B and C this is 0. So, for C and A that is 0. Okay. So, carry is A 0 in this particular case. So, then next for this particular full adder cell what will be the expression? So, S 1 is here A 1 X or with 1 then here carry is what? Carry is not 0 here. Carry is basically A 0. So, this is A 0. So, I can write S0, S1 as XOR with A0 bar. Okay. So, then again what will be the carry 1? Carry 1 will be A1, AB means A1 plus BC, BC means what? A0 plus CA, CA means what? Here A1 and A0. Okay. So, A 1 and A 0 if I just take it common something like this A 0 into 1 plus A 1 what I can write this expression as A 1 plus A 0. 
why I can write this a 1 plus a 0? Because 1 plus a 1 if you follow this De Morgan's theorem 1 plus a 1 means that is nothing but 1. Okay. So, that means a 0 into 1 means that is a 0 that means that is a 0. So, this expression I have simplified or I have if I minimize this particular expression I will get that is as a a 1 plus a 0. Okay. So, that means carry 1 is now a 1 plus a 0. So, what will be the expression for S 2 now? The S 2 expression is here A 2 x or with 1 then x or with a 1 plus a 0. So, this S 2 expression what I can write a 2 x or with a 1 plus a 0 whole bar. Okay. So, then again if I try to find out the corresponding carry out expression. So, carry out expression now what will be that means for a b that is a 2 plus for b c that is a 1 plus a 0 plus what that is for a c that is a 2 into a 1 plus a 0. Okay. So, then the same thing using this that means if I just consider a new page if I just take this C 2 as what A 2 plus A 1 plus A 0 plus A 2 into A 1 plus A 0. So, if I just want to simplify this particular expression then what will happen A 2 plus A 1 plus A 0 plus a 2 into a 1 plus a 2 into a 0. So, then again if I call take it common as a 2 common that means within this and this if I take common so a 2 plus a into a 1 plus if I take common of this a 0 and this. So, then at the time what will happen? here a 1 is remain same. So, a 0 is common 1 plus a 2. So, 1 plus a 1 is nothing but 1 and 1 plus a 2 is nothing but 1. So, that means now uh, what I can write this expression as. So, that means now c 2 becomes a 2 plus a 1 plus a 0. Okay. So, now next again then for s 3 what will happen then? For s 3 what will happen? the bit is a 3 then with 1 and then the c 2 value is a sorry this is a 2 plus a 1 plus a 0. So, this means this is a 3 plus a 2 plus a 1 plus a 0 whole bar because of this one. Then that means now we have find, find out the expression for what that 4 s value the 4 output value how here this is the expression for this s 3. Okay. If I just go back this is the expression for uh, s 2 this is the expression for s 1 this is the expression for s 0. So, that means now I have find out s 0, s 1, s 2 and s 4 by this particular technique. Now, so from this can I generalize this particular equation? If you follow that whenever we are just that means traversing to the MSB side the corresponding bit is sorry this is XOR that is XOR with the lower side that means the next corresponding bit which are or to each other and then inversion of that. That means from this particular equation if I want to make it generalized in generalized form. So, at that time what will happen or what I can write that is S n equals to sorry S n minus 1 that will be A n minus 1 x or width a n minus 2 
plus a n minus 3 plus up to up to a 0. This is our and whole bar of it. So, this is the generic expression for any n bit in decrementer. So, now you can put this n value to any value that means, whether that is 4, 6, 8, 16 whatever value you just put it and get each of the corresponding that means, sum value that is if I consider 8. So, sum 0 to sum 7 you just find out and in this in the using this particular equation you just find out the expression for each of that and then you just map it to the architecture. Okay. So, now if I just want to that means, this 4 bit uh, this expression we have got now if I just want to map it to the architecture that means, whenever you have got this particular expression now you can write this expression using any HDL language. So, whenever you do the synthesis at the time that will be converted into the gate corresponding gate level netlist so, that means, that will be implemented using the corresponding gates. So, now if I just um, that means, draw the corresponding uh, that um, uh, architecture for that. So, at that time how it will look like? So, it will look like for S 0 what is there? For this is A 0 and this is S 0 that is the inversion of that. So, in the next that is A 1 x nor x, x nor with A 0 that is S 1. Okay. So, then what is there? I need OR gate. In incrementer I was needing AND gate, but here I need OR gate. So, that means OR gate that has to be this is A 2 which is OR with A 1 and A 0 and that means x sorry x nor with A 1 plus A 0. Then again for uh, S 3 this is A 3 okay. and here also I need one OR gate. So, this is one of the input is this one and another input is this one. So, here what I am doing A 2 plus A 1 plus A 0 which are x naught with A 3 and this will give me S 3 value, this will give me S 2 value. So, if I just want to make it uh, for n bit, so n bit means here what will happen there this will be this. So, this will be connected to A n minus 2 and this will come from the previous OR gate output and then it will be x nor with the corresponding a n minus 1. So, this is this will give you s n minus 1 value. Okay. So, this is the that means architecture for the 4 bit decrementer. Okay. Understood? Then Again, if I just want to uh, just go back to the slide. So, that means, this now in this uh, that means, we have learned how to design any de that means, any uh, n bit decremented design. So, now next what we have to do? We, we, we have to see one once complement circuit design. Okay. So, once complement in once complement what we do in once complement we do basically suppose whatever input we give it will be just inversion of that. That means, draw it that means, in uh, once complement circuit if I consider 4 bit. So, at that time what will happen? So, this is a 3, a 2, a 1, a 0 this is S 3, S 1 sorry S 2, S 1 and S 0. 
So, this is the nothing but one's complement circuit, but I need controlled operation of that. That means, if I put enable signal then only it will give me this um, uh, one's complement circuit otherwise it will remain unchanged. So, can I, for that what will be the changes in this what will be the changes in this particular circuit. So, in the in the just previous case what we have seen in XOR gate if one of the input is 1. So, at that time the, the, the next the output of that particular XOR gate XOR gate is the inversion of the other input. So, instead of this uh, invert, invert, inverter over here if I just put it the XOR gate for each of this particular instead of this inverters sorry I am designing X naught. and here each of this input is like this is a 3, this is a 2, this is a 1 and this is a 0 and this is connected with this, this is s 3, this is s 2, this is s 1 and this is s 0 and this is the enable signal. So, according to the logic what will happen if enables equals to 0 if enable equals to 0 at the time the it is unchanged that means, this is the functionality and if whenever it is 1. So, at the time it will give me 1's complement. Okay. So, this is the circuit where I can do this controlled 1's complement circuit. So, if now if I want to make 2's complement, so how we do? In 2's complement initially how we can do? Initially is that we do uh, 1's complement, then with that 1's complement if you add 1 then that will become 2's complement. So, that means there is option where or by which I can do in one particular circuit I can implement the, the both the things that means in one's complement as well as two's complement. So, that we will discuss in the next class. Thank you for today's class.